Hey, what's up? Seen you here. Now you have seen the title and the thumbnail of this video. I know what you want, so let's cut the chit chat and get you the real stuff. Get a lamp, whatever kind you have. Find a piece of tissue paper, rub it, and separate one layer of it. Find some tape, stick that paper onto your lamp. Mix the lamp lighting at the top right or top left. Take out your phone, and there you go. It is that easy. Now you can pause this video and try it out yourself. And if you are satisfied with the result, I am really happy I helped out. You can click out now. But if you still have a few questions, like why do those photos look so bad? Or you got a few lamp, but you don't know which one to use. Or simply you want to know more about Gumpla photo taking. Don't worry. I got you covered. I really don't like double clicking on a long AF tutorial video to get to the part where I need. So here are the timeline stamps. Get what you want, take what you need. Now, first thing first, why do those photos look so bad? Let's look them one by one. This one is simple. The desk is too full. Don't include extra objects that will distract your view. Focus on the model and get those things out. Find a cleaner place to take photo. This one is also quite obvious. You need to get the light shooting from the front. Our phones are not good at low light shooting, remember that. I saw a lot of people shooting photos like this. They realized that in order to take a good photo, you need to have good lighting. They either take out their lamp or turn on the flashlight and shoot that way. The problem is those kinds of light are too harsh and straight. This is why you should get that piece of tissue paper and put it in front of your lamp. It will soften that light significantly and makes your model look good. The best option for this is a piece of parchment paper, but I don't think most people will just randomly have a bunch of parchment paper lying around in their house. The reason why parchment paper is better because it will diffuse that light evenly. You can also do the even diffusing with a normal printing paper, but that is way too thick. It will decrease the brightness of your light too much. Now the type of lamp you use is also pretty important. Since pure white light is pretty harmful for human eyes, most lamps are made to look warm and yellow. It is not a problem if you just want to read some books or light up your desk, but it is a big problem if you want to take some photos. A warm light will make your model look more yellowish. It is not good for color accuracy. There are lamps with adjustable color temperature, like these two I have. The black one has three modes, a cold white light, a slightly warmer light, and a really yellow light. And the white one can change its color temperature and brightness with a dial. If you have a lamp that can adjust color temperature, aka how blue or yellow it looks, make sure you adjust that first. If you only have a lamp with a fixed warm light, I'm sorry, you can try to make it more cooler in post, but it won't look as natural. So maybe next time when you go out there shopping, pick a lamp with adjustable color temperature. There are two types of lamps out there. The ones with one round light bulb in the center and those who has a long and a narrow light bar. You will get slightly different result using these two. With the light bulb one, you will have more shadows on your model. The light will be more concentrated in one direction. With the light bar one, you will get more light overall. The model will be lit more evenly but it will make it look plain with less detail. I personally think the light bulb one will make your photo look more dynamic and interesting. But a brighter photo is usually more eye-catching. For the background, the most straightforward solution is to find a white wall. Remember, it needs to be clean without any distraction, no stains or cracks. And if you cannot find such a place, you can also use a piece of white paper. The background does not have to be pure white, just don't use some vibrant color that will mess up your photo. If that is also unavailable to you, find a clean looking platform with enough depth in the background. Like here on this table, you just need to turn off the light in your room and the darkness will hide all the distractions and pop that model of yours very well. Here are all the results from the different lighting scenarios I have talked about. You can pick one that suits your personal taste the most and try it out. I hope this video will help your future Gumpla photo taking. If you find this useful or interesting, please 
give it a like, maybe considering subscribe to this channel. And if you find this suck and it's totally no use for you at all, feel free to do that. That's about it. This is Senyu. I'll see you all next time. Peace.